Welcome to Just Charisma, episode 30. I'm your host, Braden Charisma. Joining me today is Zach Worth. So, How you doing, man? Uh, unreal, really. Yeah, yeah. Can't complain, you know. Thanks for... I see, I'm pretty sure you contacted me to be on the show, right? Yeah. You didn't really say that. I just kind of brought it up, and I was like, hey, I like your show. And you're like, you should come on. Yeah. But, you know, definitely flattered that you thought of me. Of course, man. Because we haven't talked in like, years, few years, but, yeah. you know, we're definitely we're great friends when we were playing soccer and all that. So, yeah. like, really do appreciate you uh, thinking of me in the first place. For sure, man. On there. I'm glad you were able to, I'm glad you were able to come on. I'm, I was nice. It's nice to catch up, and it's just like... No, for sure. <laughs> like, I mean, we definitely have to hang out more and all that stuff, yeah. right? Like, it's just I know we have, like, opposite schedules. Yeah, you can play poker. I will learn. I'm down. That's what this, ske- this was the whole entire thing's going to be about. Poker. A lot of poker, yeah. yeah. A lot of poker. Yeah, Zach recently <laughs> left his job. It was, a, it was a good job. And then he left it to, for, like, a less paying job and to uh, pursue poker. And he streams it on Twitch, which is really cool. I, uh, like, I mean, I've never met anyone who does that, so it's really cool. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I think it sounds a lot better than it is, but, like, it's cool. Like, I'm doing it. I thought of something, and I was like, hey, like, Caitlin is my girlfriend's name. I was like, hey, like, what do you think of this? You know, like, me quitting my full-time job and pursuing something that I'm, like, kind of passionate about. She was like, yeah, all right, sure, go right ahead. Yeah. Like, this is why I fucking love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. So then, like, what, uh, what drew you to poker? Um, like, it's kind of a loaded question, but like, when I was like five or six years old, my dad always like taught me, you know, this is what you call Texas Hold'em, and learn that, play with my grandma a little bit, you know, play blackjack and like casino games with my yeah. grandparents, and you just play cards and all that stuff. So like, that has nothing to tie it into, but that's where it like started. And then okay. you get, to, I got to like nine or ten years old, and I got my first video game on like like the World Series of Championship of Poker or something like that. And uh, I played it. It was absolute shit. Whatever. I loved it. Completely dropped it. Um, I was like 18 years old. My grandparents, for a graduation gift from high school, got me... Um, got me... What am I talking about? Cruise. Oh, yeah. Got me a cruise yep. to uh, the Bahamas. And, like, that area of things. I know I'm pretty spoiled. Thank you for telling me. Um... And I went, and on this cruise, there was a poker table. And uh, they needed one more person to have, like, full table. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I used to play poker. Like, I'm good at it. That's what everyone thinks that when they've only played a couple <laughs> of hands of poker. Oh, like, you know, aces are good. You know, a pair of twos isn't good. Uh, so, yeah, I put 50 bucks on the table, which is, like, I brought, like, $150 to gamble with. And I put 50 on the table, and within three hands, 50 bucks was gone. So, oh, my God, man. So lived the rest of the vacation just fine. Uh, went home and uh, I went on Twitch and I wanted to see if anyone was live streaming because it is a game. Twitch is, you can stream uh, video games. So I went on there and I was like, all right, let's, let's see who's doing it. And I saw this guy named Jamie Staples and he was streaming and he was vaping on his stream and everything. And I'm like, oh, I don't like this guy. He had like a couple hundred viewers. I'm like, no. So I went back, went on YouTube. Daniel Negreanu, who's the probably the biggest well-known poker player right now okay is um he had like some videos up and like how to play poker basics and all that so i like learned from that <clears throat> one of the poker stars play with free money they give you five thousand ten thousand worth of play chips and whatever so i started learning a little bit you know a year goes by you get to learn you're like oh maybe i can bluff and you know these different situations you actually know the value of your hand and all that stuff <clears throat> Keeps on going. All of a sudden, I'm like, well, maybe I can play for real money. So now I'm like 18. I need to buy those, you know, vanilla gift cards. Oh, like yeah, yeah. MasterCard ones. Yeah, because I guess you can't get your own Visa. Yeah, because yeah. I was 18, and uh, it needs to be 19 to get your credit card. So I like they cost $25. There's like a $5 activation fee. So now it's up to $13. But then you have to convert that to American because PokerStars is an American. So all of a sudden I'm paying like thirty, thirty-two dollars to pay with to play with twelve dollars. Okay. I did that like four or five times and lost all that money. So I was like 150 bucks in the hole. For sure. And then I was 19 and I went back on Twitch, saw this guy at Jamie Staples again, started following him, um, started actually being a little more serious about poker. 
and this time I was in culinary school, so I just did it one out at night. Yeah. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put two hundred dollars on. Um, put two hundred dollars on with my credit card. I think it was the first purchase. You know, that's not really good when you tell your parents that like your first major <laughs> thing was to play poker. I don't think they like that very much. But that was the only purchase I've ever made. Two hundred dollars. Played two dollar tournaments. Awesome. Worked up. Worked up. You know, lost a little bit. Worked up. Awesome that uh, bankroll two years later is at, it's rounded up to eighteen hundred dollars right now. That's awesome. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of worked its way into my life. You know, it doesn't f- affect my relationship. I still have a great relationship with my girlfriend. Still hanging out with people outside of work. Um, yeah, it doesn't really tie or get in the way of anything, and I think that's pretty much what it has to come down to, just being responsible. For sure, right? And not, you know, putting two grand on, losing it, because you actually have no idea play, how to play poker, and then keep doing that and build up a mass amount of debt. Yeah, know? exactly, right? And, like, so, you know, you're not, like, you, yeah, you're just not overshooting it, and you're just not yeah. wasting money, you're just... Gamble responsible, that's score. pretty much it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not gambling unless you, if you win, right? So it's just winning. Sure. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Sure. Yeah. Pretty conservative way to look at it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, that's cool. And then, uh, so like, how often do you like stream? How often? Like, are you streaming yeah, uh, every time you play kind of thing? Or? My work schedule right now is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, from like 6.30 in the morning or 7 in the morning to hopefully around 3 p.m. Okay. On Sundays, Sunday is the biggest day of online poker because um, everyone is usually off of work. Yep. All the regulars and all the pros play on Sunday. Okay. So there's massive tournaments on there. There's an eleven dollar tournament called the Sunday Storm that starts at eleven a.m. and it ends at eleven p.m. Okay. Which is a massive one. So if I start at eight a.m., I could possibly be playing until eleven p.m. that night, and I could win twenty grand. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. So that eleven dollars can turn it into. 20 grand and you can do that like just over and over again yeah that's awesome but you have to understand that there's 25,000 people in that one tournament yeah. trying to achieve the exact same. same thing as you yeah and like so, some of them are going to be more skilled some of them are going to be less skilled right yeah so that's what poker is everyone's trying to win that money you just have to be sneaky and like know what you're doing to be better than those people for sure and I said before like even though if you have aces you're only 80% chance of winning that hand right yeah so if someone has a worse hand they can win all of a sudden uh, you were first in the tournament now you're in last because mm-hmm. you lost with aces even though you did everything just completely fine okay so it's it's rough there's a strong strong uh, hate love relationship with poker yeah but like all in all it's just so much fun that's cool. You know, I don't have a big following on Twitch. I think right now I have 60, 60 followers. Okay. But over it's still really 12, good. 1,200 views. I've been streaming for um, four months now. That's awesome. That's great for um, us. Yeah, like, like I'm not in, in it being like, all right, I'm going to be the best poker streamer out there. Right. I'm not going to make a million dollars in a year. I'm not going to do all this. It's just it's kind of like, well, like I'm playing poker. If you don't like the way I'm playing, tell me why. And then we can talk about it. We can talk about hands. We can go over the situations. If you don't like it, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Because, man, I could be wrong. For sure, right? Like, the a random guy coming onto my stream telling me how to play poker, he could be completely right. Or he could be a complete idiot, like we call poker players that are idiots, fish. Uh, they're fish. They come in, they'll be like, hey, man, you should be playing seven dudes off suit because you could hit two pair. So, well, how often are you actually going to hit two pair? Math behind it and all that. So it's like... It's a really good platform, Twitches and Discord, yeah. to uh, get in those communities and talk about hands and like, all right, well, on the turn, you know, I would have bet this much or, you know, maybe I would have checked because of these reasons. Right. So okay. it's like a big poker community that comes together, you all get better together. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. So like, how do like the tournaments work? Is it just like five or six players and then the winner of that round just moves on to the next one yeah so there's a whole bunch of different formats of poker there's cash games yep which is like cash value you put two hundred dollars onto a table and that's two. and then that's two hundred dollars okay and then you play if you lose money oh you lose money yeah um sit and go tournaments is like 18 people start the tournament and then 
no one else can register. It's just 18 people you play down to a winner. Okay. And then the top four people get money and other math. 14. 14. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, don't get money. <laughs> so <laughs> there's sit and go tournaments that the, you can play six uh, people sit and go tournaments. There's 12, okay. 18 three, to 360, I think is the okay. highest sit and go um, format. And then tournaments are like uh, tournament starts at 11 o'clock. Uh, there's three and a half hours of late registration where like everyone can uh, register that tournament. Okay. At the end of three and, and a half hours, whoever's left plays for the prize pool. Okay. Whatever's um, there. So $11 tournament, 23,000 people. There's going to be like 4,000 people paid. So, um, <clears throat> so 4,000 people get money back and the rest don't. So, but like 3,980th will only get $12. Okay. Where first place will be 20 grand. Right, yeah. So that's pretty much how different formats of poker work. Okay, so it's, okay, that makes sense because like everyone just buys in and then the winner just gets the pot kind of thing or yeah. most of the pot. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's actually awesome. I've uh, I've always been like into poker. Never been like super good. Like yeah. one of my roommates, he's way better at it. I mean, he's played it like more. Mm -hmm. But like I've always liked the idea of like it's it's a very like strategic game. Like it's a lot of lying, a lot of like. Yeah, honestly, you see a lot of people from esports like League of Legends and uh, those type of strategy games coming yeah. over to poker and putting um, like real money on the line. And, outsmarting their opponents like that you see it you see it everywhere uh, hmm. yeah so they just like it's just a big bluffing game kind of thing like when they when they show up well yes and no you don't bluff a fish it's true you need to know if that person's a fish or not and that's pretty that's a loaded question too because it's like you don't know you need to play hands with them you need to know their betting um, frequencies you need to know how many times they're putting money into the bot voluntarily yeah and how many, like, are they folding a lot? Are they betting a lot? And you know, you need the stats in your head to be like, are this person's playing a lot of pots? That means their number of hands that they have is way more. Right. Again, way more hands than if someone's only playing five or 10% of hands. Okay, there's a good chance that he has aces, kings, queens, yeah, ace king, right. something like that. So like, yes, it is a bluffing game, but you need to know when to bluff. And that's like, I've been playing poker now for four, maybe five years, and it's like, like I kind of know where to bluff. Right. I don't. I rarely do it because, um, you, you know, most of the time, if you have a good hand, you bet, you're probably going to get called. True. So because don't bluff a fish, aka if you have a good hand, bet for value. Don't bet as a bluff. Okay. So you can bluff, but like don't bluff a fish. <laughs> Pretty okay. much. So yeah. And then so yeah, what are your goals with this? Oh God. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I'm kind of that guy that's like, you know, you sit down in an interview, and uh, your boss asks you, "All right, where do you see yourself in five years?" Right. Every single time I've been asked for that question, I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a hard question, especially no. at such a young age, where, like where we are. Yeah. It's like it's like what we, what we were talking about before. It's like people saying, uh, "What what are you gonna do when when you grow up?" Mm -hmm. It's like. I don't know. Yeah. Like, are you gonna be an electrician forever? Well, like, it's a good skill to have. It's a it's a great it's, skill. It uh, pays well, and uh, I mean, I enjoy doing it. But in five years, it's like, well, like probably, but you never know. Yeah, that's just it, right? Like something else may come along and be like, you know what? I'd rather do this right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's cool, and like I love that you know today. It's not like you know back in the day. It's like when you had a job, that's the job you had like forever. It was like really what it seemed like because it was like you gotta get that career. Yeah. It's like nowadays you can leave a good paying job and eventually get another good one. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> so I mean, it's a lot more opportunity. Yeah, I actually sat down with the uh, general manager, like general chef, like my chef, like my chef is boss. Like okay. he only comes around like once every two or three months and okay. he sat me down and just like talked talked to me and how he, how I like the business and everything. He's like, "What do you see yourself in five years?" I'm like, honestly, like. I don't know. Probably not here. And he's just like, like you don't say that to a general manager. Then. They're not. You're right. not gonna be working for them in five years. And he's like, oh, like why? I'm like, well, you know, started cooking for the sole reason that uh, 
you know, we're going to be doing this forever. We're going to be eating for the rest of our lives. Why don't I get into culinary school and learn how to cook? Because we're going to have to be doing it for the rest of our lives. Why don't you make good food for the rest of your life? So I told him that. I'm like, and like, I don't know. Like, was I even supposed to be meant to work in a kitchen or anything? I don't know. I just want to make good food because I was a fat kid growing up. Right. So it's like, you know, learn how to make good food. I think I can do that now. Now it's like, well, where do I go from here? And he was like, oh, okay. Like, are you passionate about the business at all? I'm like, oh, Cactus Club's great. I love working for them. I uh, love my chef, love the guys I work with. Um, they're all good. But it's like, I don't know where I'm going to work. For sure. So with poker, it's kind of like the same thing. Maybe I'll lose interest. That's just it, right? Maybe it's just like, man, like I can't take losing with aces anymore. Uh, I can't be ahead having like 70%. My opponent has 30% to win, and he keeps winning. Yeah, I can't, for sure. I can't do this anymore. Um, but at the same time, it's like, man, maybe this passion and maybe this urge to play, maybe it'll never end. Because well, I, I get up on my days off, Saturday and Sunday, and I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I can't get back to sleep because I'm thinking about poker and I want to play poker. Okay, so it's like, that's awesome. So it's like... So there's like a fire in your, like, you got, there's a fire, like, ready, right? Like, it's yeah. all, you're, you're motivated. Yeah, because, like, I wake up on Sundays and it's like, my girlfriend's off Saturday, Sunday. I used to work all Saturday and Sundays at Cactus. Now I have those days off. Right. It's like, oh, fuck. Like, all right, babe. Saturday is our day. We can do whatever we want. We can go out to lunch. We can go out to breakfast. We can hang out all day. Yeah. Sunday? Poker day. Poker. Yeah, because I mean, it's, like you were saying, it's a big tournament day, right? It's like, the biggest day. I mean, like, if, she's not going to be mad if you win 20 grand. Like, she, you play yeah, the... You're right. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like... Pretty much, yeah. You could piss her off that day and be like, I just won 20 grand. She'd be like... I can't be mad. You can't even be mad at that. Like I can play at 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. If I win money, I can't really... No. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's awesome. I mean, like, just the, just the idea of, like, you can be so, like, it's, like, in the instant. Like, just, I mean, one day you're, like, I made 20 grand. You technically don't really almost have to work all year. Yeah. If you pulled that out, right? Like, yeah. that's, that's unreal. Yeah. I, like, I haven't won 20 grand yet. I think my biggest score was six six hundred dollars. It's still awesome. Though. It's still like it's, it's USD too. So like in Canadian, yeah. that's like twenty grand. Yeah, <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> yeah. So how bad are numbers? Yeah. So um, yeah, it's just it's nuts. Um, but yeah, as I said, everyone's trying to win that two hundred twenty. Well, that's just so. it, right? Everyone's at the same like. Uh, everyone's just as hungry for it, right? Mm-hmm. So that's really cool. Yeah. But this is the part of the show called the motivational moment. Oh, shit. And so, Zach, how would you describe your passion in five words or less? Well, it's kind of... It's, it's tied into poker. I wouldn't say it's a motivational talk, but my quote is, don't bluff a fish. And a fish in poker is a bad player. Right. Don't, don't bluff that player because that player is going to be calling a lot. You can tie that in to a lot of things in life. Where it's like, don't, don't bluff a fish. Right, okay. So, like, how would you tie it in with life? Kind of oh, God, Brady, you're really putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you want me to bring up the Trump thing again? Yeah, might as well, right? Like, <laughs> it's, it's like, don't, <clears throat> it's a bluff, or, um, don't bluff a fish. Fish, not a good person, or good not player. a good player. Yeah. Kind of turns into not educated and all that stuff. If you tell someone uneducated, uneducated they can be, become the president one day, all of a sudden you got Trump as a, um, president yeah. of your country because now it's in their head they're like I could be president one yeah. day and then all of a sudden they start walking towards that and, yeah. then, and it's like yeah now look at now he's president now look where we're yeah we're uh, 15 years away from being all ocean life being debt pretty much right so, yeah. I mean couldn't we, we have already peaked we're definitely couldn't, on the downhill couldn't, uh, couldn't be where we are now without uh, people like Trump and his <laughs> friends in the oil industry and all that stuff for sure yeah, right thanks to them Thank shout you. out to Trump if you're watching this appreciate the view and everything it's gonna be like your one dislike it, oh be, definitely just, just Donald Trump he's just, gonna make a fake news tweet about you and everything it'll be great that, you know how much publicity that would be for me yeah it'd be fantastic you, you have no idea what kind of content I'm giving you right now I know gold is what it is gold. this man's a national treasure man not the first time I've heard that <laughs> so. I mean <clears throat> 22 years and running you're still a treasure so. yeah 
That's what I'm thriving for. That's what I'm thriving for. If people like it, come uh, check out my stream. If you don't like it, um, I yeah. know you don't like it. I don't like a lot of things. So. I mean, yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. I would check it out. But you also send me... Oh, yeah, I don't think I've uh, actually mentioned it. My name on Twitch, mm -mm. Twitch TV slash Zach, Z-A-C, mm -hmm. two... 886. Don't ask me where I got the 2886 from. Okay. All right, you asked me. Um, <laughs> my friend, Jonathan, he, um, he, it was his address in Pearl Alberta. Okay. And then we made a RuneScape account, right? Yeah. Because his name was John2886. Okay. On RuneScape. We all know the game that we love, RuneScape. We played it, right? I, I have played it. I didn't really, it wasn't you a didn't, You didn't like max out your character or anything like that? No, anyway, I didn't. Everyone watching this knows RuneScape. <laughs> We made an account together, and uh, we were like, trying to think of names and everything. Like For that. sure. I was like, well, why don't we just put Zach286? And Blew his mind, right? He was like, wow, this is amazing. So we made an account <laughs> together on RuneScape, Zach286. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of ran with it. I like it. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Of course. I'll, I'll, <clears throat> I'll make sure there's a link in the description, and I'll even you know, I can throw it down in the video itself. Sounds good. Yeah, it's definitely, I'll, I'll definitely have to watch it more. Cause I yeah, would, like, <clears throat> if you don't really understand, but I, there a lot of jargon and things that yeah. you mentioned there, like that one like thing. Like that, that one message you accidentally, accidentally sent me. Sent yeah. Braden a message that had a lot of poker lingo in it. He's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but yeah, it sounds cool, dude. And uh, I was supposed to go to my poker friend who like understands it. So like, if you go into my stream, I'm going to be saying a lot of jargon. For sure. That you're not going to understand. If you type there, be like, hey, what does this mean or anything? Yeah. I'm way happy, I'd be really happy because uh, there's going to be people that pop into the stream that have no idea what's going on. For sure, right? And uh, you're just asking the questions everyone want to know the answer to. Yeah, and it was just like, the, I, got, I tried to like understand that message as best as I could, and then the most I got was 30k. I was like, you made 30k? And yeah, I was no. like, no, no, no. It was it's a like, tournament, so like 30k is just chips, not okay. face value. If I was in a cash game and I had 30 grand. That'd be a good day. That'd be a great day. That'd be a good day. If I had 30 grand, that'd be a great day. Yeah, for sure. USD, that's like... Yeah. yeah. That's changes. That's life-changing right there. For sure. So mm -hmm. then, uh, so you plan on taking this poker to eventually be like a full-time gig at this point? Um, <clears throat> yeah, and nay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I've talked to my girlfriend about it, like more realistically. Like She's like, you know, you're getting into this a lot more seriously than the last two years. But like... Same time, I don't really want you to be a professional poker player because, like, that's so much like, variance. Like, oh, I see, like, in terms of like income and stuff like that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have no idea. I know, guys, uh, Lex Velthouse is actually the biggest poker streamer right now. Okay, he is on a I think 170k downswing, which oh, just wow. means the dude, the best um, poker player on Twitch right now, he's lost $170,000 this year. I can't even imagine. But I know, but like at the same time, he's he probably has like a couple mil. Oh, probably put in his bank account. Yeah, 170 grand. Yes, it's a lot of money, but he knows, and we all know, people that watch him, that like he's a good poker player. For he'll, sure, he'll get it back. He'll get that back, and even more. Like it's completely fine. So like you gotta think about that too. When I'm, like I'm talking to my girlfriend, it's like, oh, babe, I lost 20 bucks today. The next day, babe, I lost 20 bucks today. Babe, I lost 50 bucks today. You know. The next day, I lost 60 bucks today. And then the next day, I'm like, oh, babe, I won $300. Well, in five days, that's even. Yeah. So it's like, it's, you really don't... You didn't really progress anywhere? So yeah, so being professional is like, I don't really want to become a professional poker player. Okay, you just kind of want to Which is it. like weird because like I wake up every day with this burning passion to play. But at the same time, it's like, there's almost too much risk. For sure. But like, that's why you get into poker is for the risk. Yeah, absolutely. So like, I'm at a confusing time where it's like, yeah, it would be really cool to become a professional poker player. Yeah. But like, I don't know where that's going to go. I don't know like, how much money you need. Taxes, they take 30% of your winnings away. Cause, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you need to win, you need to win a lot more money to make, like I make 25, 30K a year now. I'd have to make 40k playing poker to kind of even it out. Even it out. So it's like really hard, but at the same time, it's like, hey, fuck. You know, if I win, if I satellite, which we talked about before, for $11 into the Sunday Million, which is a $215 tournament, yeah. that first place is 150000 Okay. So for $11, I can turn that into 
uh, 150,000 American every Sunday because I play that one satellite every Sunday. Right. So the possibility that I could win $150,000 every Sunday. <clears throat> but, you know. But, like, yeah, that, that's... <laughs> I mean, like, at the same time, even if you don't want to be, like, professional, you can at least... That's a good, fun... Sec- I mean, potential for a secondary... It's a good income, conversation, right? too. That, too, yeah. It's like, like, hey, when I was younger, I played poker semi-professionally. Exactly, right? <clears throat> it's like, people be like, oh, wow. That's, mm-hmm. like, huge. Yeah. And, like, yeah, could you imagine, like, just... The rush of winning like one of those bigger tournaments. Yeah, like the um, biggest tournament I won was actually fifty five cents. Okay, um, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you like where I'm going with this? It was on a Sunday, so biggest day. My girlfriend and my dad were watching a Star Wars marathon. Oh, perfect! And I was like, all right, well, this is Sunday. Like I'm playing, so fifty five cents. There was fifty two hundred people that played <laughs> for fifty cents, and I won two hundred ninety American dollars. That's awesome. So like your return on investment. From fifty-five cents to two hundred and ninety dollars. Yeah, it's astronomical. Yeah, like that's ridiculous. But like, even though two hundred and ninety dollars, it doesn't really seem much. But from fifty-five cents, well, that's just it, right? Like yeah. that's that's huge. That's huge yeah. profit. So just take that fifty-five cents. Now I'm playing sixteen-dollar tournaments. And that's like twenty grand. Yeah, that's like twenty grand, twenty-five, thirty grand. Yeah. Now, now I play hundred and nine-dollar tournaments. You know. For sure, right? Like. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, then all of a sudden you're just, next thing you know, you're like, yeah, I just won like 1.5 mil today. Yeah. Like, big deal. <laughs> no, 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 it's like, it's going to go to the charity. It's okay. <laughs> like, because I mean, I already, I win it every Sunday. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And that's exciting. Like, have you like, say you like won a bunch of money, like you were saying you want to take your girlfriend on a trip. Yeah. Have you thought about where you'd like to take her? Um, no. What? We've already had this thing that like, we really want to backpack India. Okay. But then you look at India and it's like 51 degrees Celsius there in the summer. <laughs> and you're just like, like the like the roads are melting and everything. Yeah. It's, it's like, not good. And an with like it. the way California is at this really moment, burning up. It's like this whole world's going to go to shit. So like got to go back to that. Oh, you got to experience the world of what we have left of it. For sure, right? While we still have it. So like it would be cool to backpack around India. But it's too hot. <laughs> like, we might be able to do it. We might be able to travel there for like a month and like just, just kind of enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, same thing with Europe. I got family over there and everything. I'd oh, love cool. to take her over there. She has family in uh, the UK. Oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, go meet them. Go meet my family in Germany, Luxembourg area. Do you know where Luxembourg is? It's 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 a country. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, France, uh, Belgium. Germany and Luxembourg. Okay, yep. Kind of like that kind of area. Yep. We'd love to visit that. So we'd love to like win an $11 tournament for like 10 grand and just like take her on a month trip. That'd be cool, man. Yeah. <clears throat> That'd be really... And like poker gives that to you too. That, that, that yeah, it's just like an opportunity, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's just like... I mean, it's, you can almost treat it like playing the lottery. I guess like in the sense of like... Yeah. If you... Except for the lottery, there's 220 million, million people. people. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you can't win if you don't play. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, uh, I mean... That's actually like very true. If you don't if you don't play the lottery, you can't win. Exactly, right? So you can always... You, you can always play be poker, like, you can't win. And you can always tell your friends, oh man, six, winning that 60 million on a lottery match would be so cool. Mm-hmm. It would be so awesome. I'd do so much. I'd hope... And they, all this stuff. But it's like... If you don't play, it's like how you... Uh, don't buy the ticket. Don't buy the, if you don't buy the ticket, how are you supposed to win and yeah. you know actually do these things? Like, I've made like a great arrangements and agreements. Like, so if one of my roommates wins like sixty million, or I win, we give each other like five million, and then if I won, I have to pay off one of my journeyman's houses or like <laughs> right. his house. I got to pay yeah. off his mortgage, and then if he wins, he'll buy me a house. Mm-hmm. So it's like you got you got to make you got these connections. Gotta, yeah, sure. you got to make right. these well, connections. You don't even have to win the lottery. You can just make other people win the lottery for well, exactly right. Like as long as he wins, this man's smart. <laughs> as long as you, as long as yeah, as long as he wins, I could probably retire on yeah. five million, right? Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, no, it's like that's that's really cool. I mean, I, it's just another world of like the million of worlds we can go into right now. For sure, right? it's just another one that's you know I think is a lot more fun. Yeah, and it has like and you have a lot of potential considering in two years you've. Like, not like you've not just tripled. You've like, I can't even. I don't even know the number. Yeah, math, math, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> Whatever. Two. I mean, two hundred bucks into eighteen hundred. So I mean, you nine times it. I don't yeah. even know what that is, but yeah. So like, 
You, you never the, know. I might never ever win a tournament ever again. You may not, but I mean, I take the 1800 and slowly dwindle it down to nothing. But you know, you study. Um, there's a lot of study material to actually get better in poker. Uh, you study, you work hard, you put in the hours and all that, and you just you gotta expect that 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 progression, like the growth. Eighteen hundred dollars will eventually be. You know, like if I had ten thousand dollars sitting in that account, you know, I I would be like, all right, like. I've done it. I've completed the like, challenge. Yeah, that was like the success, like the like, goal of the success. I, I'm right. here, like making ten grand off a of pro. Oh, you can't be upset. No, because it's like you just that's like ten grand you didn't have again. Mm-hmm. Like you started at two hundred bucks, right? Like yeah, there's nothing to be like. That's nothing but like a good feeling because it's just excitement yeah. and like mm-hmm. rewarding. A lot of hours, so a lot of time, yeah, a lot of time, a lot of energy has gone into it. Um, you know, if someone says, hey, play poker for four years and I'll give you $1,800, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just going to go do my regular job and make $1,800 in two weeks. Yeah, right. So, like, like, you just, it's, it's something different that, like, you have so much time to waste in your life. Might as well just play poker. Well, exactly, right? It's, it's like playing video games. Just yeah. You can turn that into. I mean, like uh, what's his nuts there? Uh, Ninja. Ninja makes five hundred grand a month. Yeah, just ridiculous, right? Like I could not imagine making that much money. It's you. I don't. I don't understand why he still does it. Really, he must really like Fortnite. He plays like twelve hours a day. Yeah, it's nuts. It's, it's a lot. Of, it's incredible. It is incredible. Like I couldn't imagine. Like as much as I love Fortnite, I could not fucking play for like. Hours I think my day. best, um, my longest stretch when I was playing Call of Duty back when you're like 12 years old, yeah, <laughs> uh, was like six hours, and like your mind is just fried. It's fried. I yeah. played poker now for eight hours, and it's just like I can't like, babe, what's my name? <laughs> like, you can't think about anything. No, because mm-hmm. you you can literally just focus, right? <clears throat> that's cool. Mm-hmm. I, I I like I like it all. Like that's exciting. I'm excited to watch you play poker. Yeah, because, that's awesome. If you do, yeah, you know, if you come in and you don't like it, then you don't like it. But if you come in and you start playing poker, um, there's deposit codes that you can get in and you can get free money. Oh, cool. So That's awesome, man. Yeah. Well, Zach, I just wanted to thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, like, awesome. I really appreciate it. Like, How long was that? Oh, we're still going, Joe. Okay. Break, but yeah, we got like half hour at least. All right. Sounds good. Uh, so where can the people find you? Like, like, like you were saying on Twitch, Zach2886. You got it. Yeah. And then uh, do you have like an Instagram or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I don't really keep up with a lot of social media. I probably should if I'm getting putting myself out there on Twitch. For, yeah, definitely help promote yourself. But right? uh, yeah, Zach2886 on Twitch. Copy paste on any sort social of social media. Social media. Okay, perfect. Twitter, Instagram. That, I mean, like, those are, the, those are the only ones. I don't know. That's pretty much it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, you can find me at Jess Charisma on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. The YouTubes. The YouTubes. Oh, yeah, the YouTubes as well. Oh, okay. I put down, there's another challenge. You could put five weeks of vlogs up. I didn't do a great job. But I just kind of did it. Because, I would have loved to vlog. Yeah, like, um, it's, it's another thing, too, to think about. <laughs> but, yeah, Zach286 on uh, YouTube as well. Okay, cool. I'll fill this up. But uh, yeah, if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button. You know, check out Zach. Uh, let, check, watch out the other videos, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Unreal. Don't bluff a fish. Don't bluff a fish.